Indian Zucchini Curry. A warm and flavorful dish that makes use of fresh garden zucchini for that authentic farm to table flavor whenever it's in season. Plus, it's a great addition to an Indian themed dinner. We're going to begin with a stroll through my parents' garden. My family and I have been tending this for around 10 years now, and seeing as it's midsummer, we've got a lot going on. In particular, the squash plants are doing very well, and we've got some rather large zucchini just ready to be picked. Just look at the size of this one here. It's around two and a half pounds, and I've got just the thing for it. While I'm at it, I'm gonna go through the herbs and see what looks fresh. I'm kind of just mix and matching based on what's available, and in the end, it's all gonna come together nicely. Feel free to choose whatever you've got and make it your own. So here's what we've got for this dish. I have a two to three pound zucchini, and with that, I'm gonna use a small head of garlic, a two inch piece of ginger, two to three chili peppers, depending on your spice level, two to three medium tomatoes, and a large onion. For the seasoning, I've got one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of coriander, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of fennel seeds, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of cumin seeds. Then to garnish at the end, I'll be using one fresh lemon and then an assortment of herbs that I was able to find. Today, there was a selection of different types of basils and oregano. Begin with a little bit of cooking oil and fry the diced onion. I'm gonna take my time and let this get a nice golden brown. Once that's done, I add all of my whole and powdered spices and give it a good mix for about one minute. Then add in the finely chopped garlic, ginger, and the green chilies. Give that another fry for around two to three minutes. Then I'm gonna add in my chopped tomatoes. Give that a mix for a couple minutes as well. And while that's sitting, I'm gonna get started on my zucchini. If you've got several small ones, that works as well as long as it's within two to three pounds, like what I have here. I'm cutting mine into reasonable chunks, and then I'm gonna toss that into the dish and give it a good fry. Turn it from time to time and allow it to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. They will lose some of the volume as it cooks and the water inside evaporates. You can cook it a bit longer if you prefer it to be softer in texture. Before serving, I'm gonna squeeze in my lemon, being careful to strain out the seeds, and then top it with my chopped herbs and give the whole thing one final mix. And now your fresh zucchini curry is ready to be served. This is a wholesome and delicious side dish that pairs perfectly for an Indian themed dinner and can be accompanied by rice, bread, beans, lentils, or any other dish that you have in mind. I'll include links in the description box for all the other dishes that you see here. So be sure to check that out. And while you're at it, why don't you check out some of my other videos? Give it a try and let me know what you can figure out.